After the final play of Monday night's game, the ref described Brady's pass as uncatchable. And on Tuesday, the league office added that the contact between Gronk and Keekly occurred just as the interception was made, making it not a penalty. Let's break it down. Running at 16 miles per hour into the end zone, Rob Gronkowski begins to decelerate nearly a full second before the ball arrives. And Luke Keekly makes contact with Gronk a third of a second later. That means the contact in dispute happened two thirds of a second before the ball was intercepted. Because momentum is a product of mass and velocity, Keekly's 235 pound bear hug essentially doubles the amount of force necessary for Gronk to change direction. Our analysis has shown that Gronk, untouched, can decelerate from 16 to about zero miles per hour in roughly half a second. That means without Keekly's added momentum, Gronk would have been able to stop when the ball was more than six yards away from him. This would have left him with enough time to stretch his eight foot three reach and make a play on the ball. Since he still would have had to contend with Robert Lester, it seems that it would have been highly improbable for Gronk to make the catch, but certainly possible. So no matter how you look at it, calling the pass uncatchable or questioning the timing of the restriction, the numbers suggest that Tom Brady was correct when he so eloquently described the rolling as For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!